The nose is one of the most visible points of our face. If you have a complaint about your nose, you can edit your photo in Photoshop to see how a straighter nose will look on your face without having plastic surgery. I chose an image with a white background to explain this subject better, but you can also edit the image with a full background. We will do this editing with Photoshop's liquify feature. First, let's open our image. Let's create a copy of the image with Ctrl J. Let's turn the layer into a smart object with convert to smart object. Then click on filter liquify property. When we open it, a window like this will appear. What we see in the middle is the size of the brush. And on the left, you will see some tools. Through these tools, we can edit the body. We can make arrangements as follows. We will use this feature to correct the nose. We need a smaller size brush for editing on the nose. So, we'll have to slightly reduce the size under the brush tool option on the right. This means that we have made our brush smaller. Let's make it a little smaller. We'll try on this size according to this photo. Let's see if the size will be ideal. If you have problems, you can also edit other options, for example on density. Now, by clicking the plus icon here, I get a little closer to our scene and try to correct this area with the brush. In other words, I'm dragging from the outer layer to the inside with the mouse. If I grab it from here and drag it inwards, you will see that the area here can be corrected inwards. I will apply this method to the nose. I make small adjustments like this and try to eliminate the axis in the nose as straight as possible. This situation will change according to your skill and with this method, we can also adjust the nose lift. For example, I'll make my brush a little bigger because I'm going to make a swipe on the tip of the nose. I drag my mouse up a little on the tip of its nose. In this way, you can also edit the position of the nose if you want. The preview option is currently active. If I deactivate it, I'll see the previous version. If I activate it again, I'll see the edited version. By clicking the OK button, we can make this application applied on the image. The reason why we turned this into a smart object is that we can later cancel the edits we made on the image as we wish. By canceling the liquify option here, we can access the original image. As you can see, it is possible to make such edits with the liquify tool. That's it for this video. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.